All right, welcome motorcycle riders. Let's talk about this tail bag. This is not a tank bag, it's a, the tail bag. It goes on the back of the motorcycle. Uh, there's the name. You can pronounce it if you want. Now I'll talk about kind of the good things I like about this bag. Uh, for one thing, it feels like it's a hard shell, but it's not, so I like that. It's got these little straps here. You can quick throw something underneath them, like say at the gas station, throw your gloves underneath there so they don't blow away. Then inside here, it's got this other inside pouch. This holds quite a bit. Uh, also, the rain poncho goes in here. So if you do get caught in the rain, you can quick pull the poncho out and it just slips right over this bag and hooks onto the corners, or just goes over the corners on the hook. You don't have to unhook the bag to put on the rain poncho. It just slips right on like a fitted sheet. So I used it one time in a light, very light rain. It lasted five minutes. More like a drizzle, if anything. And I really don't think the bag got wet at all because, you know, it sits back behind me. But the, I used that rain poncho one time, and the bag didn't get wet. And as you can see... If I didn't tell you what was wrong with this bag, you'd think it's a brand new bag. Now, setup was easy as hell heck. See the buckles? Right there. Uh, the straps go underneath your seat. There's multiple ways to hook this up, but mine, I just put the straps underneath the seat. Then you just uh, take the straps and buckle them into the buckles. No problems. Never had a bag slip, slide, or off. Um, so it was very easy. It's very nice. If uh, you want to wash your motorcycle, you just quick on, just quick unclasp those buckles, wash your motorcycle, then dry it and put the bag right back on. Easy, easy as oh heck. Uh, and then it has a nice, nice roomy interior. I'm not sure what that straps for. I imagine for a computer, you put it underneath it, strap it down. The only thing I ever had in this bag, which which irritates me when I tell you what's wrong with it, is my raincoat, which is folded up in plastic still, like it, like when I brought it, a water bottle, a water bottle, my wallet, gloves at night, um, my cell phone. That's it. And this thing has a second zipper on it that you can expand this bag. Suppose in the, when it's expanded, you could put a full-size helmet in here. And then the main zipper for this compartment right here, there's two zippers and they come together, and then you could put a little lock on them. I never did that. I never used the expanded part at all because I had no need for it. But I imagine if you're going to go on vacation with this expanded, you probably put three, three days clothes in there, maybe four. I guess it depends how you pack. Um... And it has another pocket in the back. Let's see if I can show you it. That, this little nylon right here. Never used it. I just discovered it you know, a week, two weeks ago. I had a bag since last September. But I would never use it because my back, when it's on my motorcycle, my back goes up against this. So if I had my wallet in there, then my wallet would be jamming me in the back. So I would never use it. I can't imagine. I mean, I don't know what you'd put in there, but... You know, because it's just a nylon bag. But it's a, it's a pretty nice bag. I mean, I really, really liked it. Especially like when you go to a hotel room, which I haven't done it. I just, I haven't traveled on the bike yet. But you could quick unbuckle it and it's got this nice handle. Carry it right in. Easy pleasy. But now I'm going to show you what happened. Let me first tell you, I got this bag last September. Uh, in 2020. That's when I got the motorcycle. As soon as I ordered a motorcycle, I ordered this tail bag. Had pretty good reviews on it. So, I got it in September. Last year, we only got to ride it for four, maybe five weeks. And that wasn't every day because, you know, it was too windy some days and rainy some days. So, today is October 10th, I believe. No, nope, today is October 11th. So, f maybe five and a half six months use of this actual bag and you can see it's in excellent shape that's it five five and a half six months and even out of that time that's not 
driving it every day because days are just too damn humid. I was like 102 humidity or wind gusts or rain. So it doesn't really have that much use uh, out of it. And when I did ride it, I was inside this bag between two to four times each ride, you know, to get my wallet out, pay for gas. And um, so that was about it. Now I'm going to show you what happened. Do I got to tell you? Zipper ripped out. No reason. Bag wasn't overstuffed, wasn't abused, just ripped out. So that is very upsetting. That's about the best picture I can give you guys. There you go. Just ripped out. So I brought a different bag. I don't remember what it was. About the same price. And I'm going to try that one out. But if it fails, I actually might rebuy this bag. And here's the name of it again. It's on Amazon. But I don't know if I didn't notice or didn't really care. But I see when I was looking at this bag again, for $10, you can buy, I think, a four-year warranty. So if you like this bag, and look at somebody's other video who can do it better than I can to really get a good idea about this bag. But if you like this bag... You're going to be a fool, like me, for not buying that warranty. Spend that extra 10 bucks, buy the warranty. That way you got four years. And then if it breaks, you can keep sending it in when it breaks. But um, I brought a different bag. I don't even remember what the name of it was. One I probably never heard of. And I'm going to try that one. If that one don't work, I'm actually going to buy this one again. I'm going to buy that warranty. So I really like the bag. But... That zipper just falling apart for no reason. Didn't jerk on it. Didn't open it normal like I always do. And one of the zippers got stuck. And I thought, what the heck's going on there? And I look and look. And here the zipper had pulled itself right out of the bag. And I had a heck of a time getting it open. But I did manage to rip this bag open. No, because it wouldn't unzip. So I had to rip it apart to get that. Which which I was amazed. That the other part that was zipped, it just didn't want to really give away. So I don't understand why that part just came loose. Just some guy pissed off at the factory doing a sloppy job or what. But I really had a jerk on this to get it open all the way so I can get my stuff out of it. So, I don't know. I don't really want to badmouth it, but I'm disappointed with it. But if I end up buying it again, I would with a warranty. All right, you guys, enjoy your ride. Be safe out there. A lot of crazy four-wheelers. Have a good day.